three door infill panels, a top panel with the elite label, a bottom panel which is blank, two door posts which are unhanded and labelled door. The door posts are unhanded and have two holes at the top and three holes at the bottom. There are also two equally spaced out holes in the middle of each bar. Place the two door posts on a level surface approximately two feet apart with the bolt slots facing downwards. The first thing we need to do is fit beading where glass is going to be positioned, so beading needs to go on the inside of both door posts and not the outside. Using the long nose pliers, slowly drag the beading through the channel, overhanging some at the end in case the beading has to be stretched. Cut off any excess. Do this for the other door post on the inside edge. Place the top, bottom and three infill panels in position. The top panel with the Elite name on it needs to be positioned on the door posts where the two holes are at the top. Moving to the bottom position of the door, the bottom panel with the flange pointing downwards interlocks with the bottom infill panel. Still at the bottom of the door, we need to put a screw through the bottom hole of the door post going through to the bottom door panel. You might find it easier to insert the screw into the hole first to pre-tap it. Insert the other two screws at the bottom of the door. Move along the door post and screw in the other two infill panels. Slightly lift the panel as you are going along so you don't tear the beading already inserted. Finally screw in the top panel with the Elite label. When you come to fit the last hole, you need to use the long screw to attach the door catch. Insert the long screw through the hole of the door catch and attach both washers. Offer the catch to the end hole in the door post and screw in. Looking at the door, the single door catch is only fitted to the left hand side. Do the same for the other side using the standard screws for each hole. Snap the door skids at the bottom of the door, one either end of the bottom door panel. Push the bolt through the centre of the wheel and then through the hole in the top door panel from underneath. The wheel has a collar protruding from the centre. This collar goes against the inside face of the top door panel. Place the washer over the bolt and secure with the nut provided, tightening until there is no movement on the bolt. Do exactly the same for the other end of the door.
turn the door over and insert the black rubber draft excluder so it's level with the door at the bottom and then cut off any excess. Do not fit the door at this stage. 